We know a lot of people, ways to keep your kids active, especially during the summer, is of course to hit the pool. Perfect place, and of course there are exercises your kids can also do to be strong swimmers. That's important. So we want to check in with Maria, who is live in Surprise this morning, with some tips for us. Are you going to take a dip? It looks like uh, folks there are ready to go. Well, we actually have people already inside the pool. I didn't bring my swimsuit today. I know it's very disappointing, but yes, we are here inside of Aqua Tots in Surprise. They have this cute little otter again telling people, hey, you want to be a superstar swimmer? Well, maybe you got to do this. Get on the ground and do some dry land exercises. So today for your more motivational Monday, we are chatting with Erica Ogle. She is the spokesperson here for Aqua Tots. You know, a lot of parents may have their kids at home and say, hey, listen, it is too hot for you to go outside and burn your feet on the pool deck in your backyard pool. Uh, what kind of exercises are we watching right now? What are some tips for parents at home? Absolutely, so right now they're practicing their kicks. Most kids naturally will kick from their knees. So right now we're doing a flutter kick. So if your children are home watching TV, have them kick from a flutter kick on their belly position. Belly and back are the safest positions. Being on your belly and kicking like this gets you to a destination. Being on your back as they roll right now gets you to breathe. Um, standing up and down in the pool is a drowning position, so we want to be safe as, uh, as much as possible. So right now they're doing chicken star rocket. If you're on your back and you need to get to the edge of the pool, chicken star rocket is the fun way to remember how to get there. And how does this help them be better swimmers in the water? It helps with their buoyancy. As kids get older, their buoyancy continues to move and they need to continue how to work through that water. And even though what they practiced when they were little, we have to keep practicing that flutter kick and proper buoyancy with that body position. All right, and I think you brought up a great point. If you're in the water, you're used to standing. Yes. If, you'd, if you've never swam before. Yeah. So to be able to get used to uh, being on your belly and getting strong, because it's pretty tough to it swim, is. right? Yes, it is. Gets t gets, can get pretty tiring. It can be, which is why you want to be on your belly, kicking to a destination so you can get out and rest, or floating on your back so you can rest and breathe. All right, and this is easy to do. How many seconds should they be doing each exercise? What about 20 seconds. You can just have them watching TV and constantly be like, oh, show me those tiptoe kicks, up and down kicks, let me see it. And then they can roll to their back and practice the same kicks on their stomach, and now they're using um, belly muscles. All right, well, you know have to have some strong muscles to get in the water because it can get tiring pretty easily. So again, Aqua Tots Swim School over here in Surprise. Erica, thank you so much for those tips and hopefully all of you at home can get motivated, not necessarily to jump quite in the pool yet, but either, you can probably join your kids right on the ground watching TV in the nice air conditioning of your home and practice. This is called Chicken, Chicken. Star Rocket and now they're using a streamline and practicing those flutter kicks. Guys, back to you. Chicken Star Rocket. I have never heard of that. That is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna you go like this, and then you go out. It's a little confusing. And then you I go in. To think of it. <laughs> well, our star swimmer, of course, knows how to do that. Thanks, Maria.